Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. I have a product that I want to show you today. I don't have a drone. This is going to come under the tech section of tech reviews on my channel. Uh, but uh, this is a product that I really appreciate and I've used similar products before. Uh, these are both inflators. Uh, it's from a company called Oxido. This is the A501. This is the smaller, com more compact A301 and uh, they're handy. Uh, I drag race my Corvette and when I get out to the drag strip I like to air down those back tires, get a little bit better traction off the line and obviously when I'm all done I need to air them back up to street pressure. That's where these things come in handy and they're so easy and convenient to use. Uh, also I've got a motorcycle. I've got a couple of motorcycles as a matter of fact. This little compact A301 is going to be perfect for that. You carry a flat repair kit with you. Most motorcycle tires are tubeless now. You carry a plug kit. You got to air that tire back up. This is the way to do it. Very convenient, very easy. Doesn't require plugging it into an external source. It's got its own battery in there and uh, you know can also be used as a power supply as well to charge your cell phone, etc. So handy to have that extra juice. Uh, also, I've got an e-bike uh, and I've got a scooter. Well, those tires get low. It's so convenient to use these things to air them up. I do have a big full-size air compressor in my garage. I don't have to fire that up. I can just grab this little guy and, uh, and air up those tires to uh, what they need. But uh, all of that said, let's quit messing around. Uh, let's get these two inflators out of the box and take a look at them. Okay, let's open these guys up. Let's start with the uh, 501. And of course, what do you get? You get some tips and you get a user manual. Uh, that's important. Tells you everything that you get in the box. Uh, the different uh, nozzles. Well, of course, for me, I can say, I guess, obviously, this would be a, a, a handy device. I didn't think of this for uh, blowing up uh, air beds and things like that. So, and, and, uh, basketballs, etc., volleyball. So it's got all these different nozzles that you can use for those things. But I'll primarily be just using the uh, regular hose to, uh, to fill up tires with. And you got a couple of cables here. You got a uh, car charging cable and a USB uh, A to USB C cable and a carrying bag. And of course, I just showed you the manual. We're going to pull that off there. That's everything that's in there. And let's take a look at the unit itself in a nice bag as they always do. So what it's telling us is we've got an on off switch in the middle. We've got a plus button to increase air pressure, a minus button to decrease air pressure. Uh, and then this is a light switch. You can turn, it's got a, a, a light on it right there. You can turn that light on and off. And then this is a mode switch. So you would switch it between the different modes for uh, you know, whether it was a bicycle tire, car tire, uh, etc. Uh, we'll look at that in a second. But let me see if I can get the camera to focus in on this sticker where it tells you all that that's over the display. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Okay, let's turn the unit on and uh, see how much charge the battery has on it from the factory. So holding that center button down, and look at that, it fires up there. I like that color display. You can see that it has 85% uh, charge on the battery. It's already in PSI mode, uh, per, uh, pounds per square inch, uh, and it's preset to 36 PSI. And it's in. there's a little picture of a car there. We can tell it's in car mode. So when you connect the hose to it and you plug this end into your car tire, in that circle there, it's going to tell you uh, what the air pressure is in that tire and then you can set your preset uh, accordingly to uh, how much you want it filled up or down. So uh, I'm going to hit the plus button and it's going to go, you can see it, well it's half pound increments which is good. Uh, so we pushed it up to uh, 37 pounds and then if I wanted to drop it back down I could hit the, uh, the minus button and again in half pound in increments we're back down to 36 pounds. Uh, then the different modes. So let's let's go through the modes, and that's the bottom button here. I'm going to hit that once, and that puts us into uh, bicycle tire mode. And I like how they changed the ring to blue. 
Now bicycle tire mode, I'm sure that it's going to pump less pressure into the tire, right? As opposed to a car tire, you can put pressure in it uh, fairly quickly at high pressure. But a bicycle tire, if you did that, you know, you would run the risk of, of maybe uh, overpressurizing it. So uh, I'm sure that's why they do that. And then you got the motorcycle version there, which I'm sure is someplace in the middle. Push that button one more time, and then we're in sports ball version, which you would use for basketball, volleyball, etc. Or I'm sure, uh, like your air cushion or uh, you, you know, uh, pool inflatables, that sort of thing. This unit will go up to 150 pounds pressure, which is a lot. That is truck tire range. Uh, and it will inflate a tire very, very quickly. They say, I'm looking at uh, my notes here, uh, they'll say that within, it can, with three times speed boost, it can inflate a tire in as short as a minute. So uh, it's good that it inflates a tire uh, very quickly. So here's a, a, a DC charging port, and that's where you would use this, uh, this car charger to, uh, to charge it up. And then uh, the USB-C, I believe that is an input as, as, as well. Uh, so you'd use the, uh, the USB-C to USB-A. Uh, you'd plug this into a, uh, a charge brick and uh, charge it uh, via that port. And then I believe the USB-A port is out. So why do you need an out uh, USB-A port there? That is, you can use it as a power bank. So. You're out there uh, in the middle of nowhere and your cell phone goes uh, down and you need to charge it back up. This thing operates as a power bank and will do that. Let's not forget the, uh, the light here uh, on the uh, top side. And uh, let me press that button and let's just see what it looks like. Wow, that's pretty bright. And usually they have, yeah, look, it's got a red light mode that blinks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's press it one more time. Then it'll blink faster. Maybe that's even SOS. It looks like it's uh, probably an SOS blinking there. And one more time turns it off. So uh, yeah, pretty darn handy. That'd be a handy thing to have. So I mentioned the fill hose. This is the end that you uh, screw into the output on the, uh, on the device. So let's go ahead and just install that right now. So you're going to want to tighten that hand tight to, to make a good seal. I like that they put this little rubber thing on. What that's going to do is get, it's going to keep you from kinking this hose uh, from moving it too far. Okay, you've seen the uh, A501. Let me uh, get the A301 out of the box and let's take a look at that. Okay, there it is. Let's pull it out of the box. And just like it's big brother, looks like we got the accessories in a box on the top. Well, I lied to you. That's just a cover. Uh, but then we do have the uh, a user manual here. And the unit itself in a nice plastic bag. Then underneath all that, we're going to find the accessories. Okay, we have a very similar setup to the A501. The A301 is a little bit smaller, obviously. And it's got a smaller battery on it. This one is a 5200 milliamp hour battery as opposed to the A501 is a 7800 milliamp hour battery. But accessories wise, again, very similar. You got a carry bag, which is handy. You got the manual, which you're, uh, you're gonna need. Uh, looks like we have a USB-A to USB-C. What we do not have is a car charger with this one. Uh, and then you have your little bag of the uh, various connectors. Again, for me, I'm gonna use this one because this is the one that I will uh, be filling up my car or motorcycle tires with. So we got some plastic on the top here. Let's go ahead and peel that off. So with the 301 here, you can see the uh, control buttons are on the, the uh, front of the unit, unit. So you have the power button in the middle, plus, minus, uh, the light button, and then the mode button. Let's go ahead and hold on that power button. Yeah, and so we do have a display there. I thought we would have to in order to show uh, the PSI. But again, uh, this one is, uh, is just a uh, single color display. But the top number, it's already in PSI. That tells us what your tire is at that moment, what the pressure in the tire. The bottom number is your setting, your preset, what you want to inflate to. And then you can see we have the car there. So let's go through the modes. 
you got bicycle, you got that, well, I, motorcycle, then bicycle, and then you have uh, a uh, sports balls. So, uh, and then it just, yeah, that, this one just has a little picture of a, uh, a person there. So that, that's just a neutral one. I think you could, uh, you could air up to some pretty high pressure on that one. Uh, but for the most part, mine is going to be on that car tire mode. Oh, well, I should take that back. Mine will probably be more on motorcycle mode most of the time because I'm going to carry this guy in my motorcycle. So a little bit uh, sim more simple situation here uh, on this one. You do have a light. This is where you insert, insert the uh, filler hose. And then you've got USB-C. Then that's how you're going to charge it with this cable right here. And you're going to need, a again, a charge block. I would probably recommend a 20 amp or bigger charge block to get this thing charged up fast. Uh, and that's what you're going to plug in there. And then the other end of the USB-A port on your charger. And then this is a USB-A out. So, you know, you need to charge your cell phone out in the field or something. Uh, you have uh, juice in here that you could do that. So let's go ahead and turn on the light. Let's take a look at that. So there's that light. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller than its uh, big brother, the 501. Let's hit it again. And it blinks. And one more time. Then it goes to red. That's that SOS, I think, again. And one more time turns it off. Boy, this is a fantastic compact little inflator. I like the features that they built into it. Yeah, you don't get as many accessories as you do with its big brother, but, uh, but it's got a different mission. Okay, here they are side by side, the Oxido 501 and the Oxido 301 inflators. Uh, I'm going to put my hand in the middle here so you can kind of get an idea of the size of them. Uh, the 501, super easy and compact to carry in your car, etc. Again, this guy is going to be perfect for me to carry on my motorcycle or on my e-bike uh, or even my scooter for that matter. Uh, so it's both of them very convenient and they come with all the right accessories. Okay, let's take the A501 out in the garage and let's air the tire on my Chevy Tahoe up to full pressure. Hey, okay, I noticed the display on my Chevy Tahoe was showing that I have one tire that's just a little bit lower than the rest. This one's at 35 pounds, the rest of them are at uh, 30, well, the fronts are at 37, and I see the one on the other side is at 38 pounds. So let's go ahead and air this one up to uh, 38 pounds so it is even with the rear tire on the other side. So I'm just gonna turn it on by pressing the center button and you can see we're all fired up here. And I'm going to hit the plus button until I get to 38 pounds on the uh, preset here. And you can see it says, well, let me get it closer to the camera. Yeah, hopefully that will focus in there, 38 pounds. And uh, then I'm just going to simply this end, just screw it onto the Schrader valve on the tire. <clears throat> so I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but this actually says, uh, 34 and a half pounds. So uh, let's go ahead and fire it up here and get it filling. And again, I'm just going to push that power button once. And then you can hear the unit uh, starting to make a little noise. And it shouldn't take it long. You can see it's already up to 35 pounds, 36 pounds. Yeah, I'm going to call them off as they go. <laughs> 36 and a half. I should have started a timer, I didn't. The more pressure, it's taking a little bit longer. There's 37. There's 37 and a half. And very quickly here, it'll turn to 38 and it'll automatically stop pumping air. There it is, it's at 38 and it stopped pumping air, so we're exactly where we need to be. So that's how easy the Oxido A501 is to operate. Uh, in fact, I'm sure that you could teach your children how to air up their own bike tires with one of these. So handy in that regard. Uh, this one is on sale right now for $99.99. I don't know how long it'll be on sale. Uh, I'll see if the Oxido people will give me a discount code to pass along. If they do, I'll put that in the uh, description below. And uh, I will put a link to their website uh, to where you can... Uh, purchase either the A501, like I've got in my hand right here, or its little brother, the A301. In any case, 
that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.